Hello, and welcome to our presentation on the add-on software Quick Copy. Add-on software Quick Copy is a component feature of the add-on software install and upgrade suite of utilities. And it is specifically geared to letting you quickly set up a complete clone of add-on software as installed in your BBJ home directory to some outside location. So it will pick up add-on software, the Brista application framework, including demo data, and install that in some other directory of your choice. Now that's a handy tool to have for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's nice to be able, in instances where we're doing training, such as we are here, or if we're setting up a demonstration for a customer, to be able to make some changes change the data in add-on software, set up some users, do some other changes to customize that add-on software, and we don't want to risk losing that or overwriting that if we do a subsequent install into the BBJ home directory. So it's best not to use the instance in the BBJ home directory if we're making changes that we want to preserve. So this gives us a quick way to copy what we have there to an external location where we can customize it to our heart's content. It's also nice because if I can make one copy, I can make two copies or three copies or however many copies I'd like to have. So that if I'm going to be preparing demonstrations for three or four customers, I can make three or four copies and customize, tailor each of those and not have to worry about continually trying to keep just one copy in a state where I could do the demo for each customer. There are some prerequisites. You need to have, of course, the latest Java JDK and the latest release version of add-on software. The quick copy feature was installed as of version 13.11, so we need 13.11 or later. And of course, after you installed, you need to make sure that everything is initially running. Make sure at least that the BBJ sysconsole launches successfully. That just sees to it that you've got a good install, that you've got the licenses you need, and so on. You can follow along with me. There are exercise slides. I will move back and forth between the slides and my running copy of add-on software. And let's see how the quick copy works. Our first step is to actually get add-on launched. And I'm going to do that by going to Start, All Programs, Basis, Add-on Software, Add-on Software, User. That's the shortcut that we want to use. Now you'll see that it brings up a user ID of guest. We're going to change that to admin and use the admin123 password. Now before you log in, make sure to click the settings button and select the Barista Installation Manager launch option. Once you've done that, then you can click log in and you'll see the Barista Installation Manager. We only have one instance of Barista slash add-on listed here, and that's the one that we've installed in BBJ Home. We need to go ahead and launch that one, so I'll click the green Run Process button, and we'll now log into that particular instance. The first time you launch add-on software, you're going to be prompted to run the auto-synchronize process. Now, add-on is really already fully synchronized into Barista, so this is really just uh, a configuration option, just as a very quick synchronization to see to it that config files are up to date. It also gives you the opportunity to synchronize in the developer scratch pad or the examples applications that ship with BBJ and Barista. I'm going to uncheck those. I'm only interested in add-on software for these exercises. Now, if you've already launched and you already synchronized default and examples in, it's not a problem. For my purposes, I'm leaving them out. Understand that the quick copy will pick up whatever the state is of add-on software in your BBJ home directory. So if that instance of Barista uh, includes add-on and default and examples, then your clone will contain all of those as well. I'll click the Synchronize button, and again, this is a fast process that just does a little housekeeping and sees to it that my config files are up to date. Okay, this process is completed, so I'll click OK. I'm also going to 
dismiss this little informational message. This tells us that we're running in the download area. And we shouldn't be running here if we're actually doing serious production work or development work. So let's go on now and run the quick copy. I'm going to go back to the slides to make sure that we're following along here. We've run the initial autosync. And now we're going to go to Add-on Software Administration, Utilities, Install Upgrade Utilities, Install Wizard. There are only a few pieces of information that you need to provide. The first is a database name. I'm going to call this one AONQC1. And then a description. Why the number one? Because, as I said, I may set up quick copy one, two, three, four, or five. So I'm using the number one just to distinguish. We need to find or create the parent directory where we want this clone to reside. So I'm browsing to my C drive. I haven't already set up a blank folder, so I'm going to do so now with the Create New Folder button. And I'm going to call this AON underscore QC1. Now when I hit the Enter key, that new name is forwarded down here into the file name field. So I'll click the Open button, and that brings my newly created directory name back into my form. So that's all that I need to do. Make sure the Quick Copy install type is what you've selected. We'll learn more about the production install type in other classes, but we're interested in the Quick Copy here. Press the green Run Process button, and you're off and running. The wizard is totally automatic at this point. There's nothing else for you to do. It's going to do a physical copy of all of add-on software, including the Barista Application Framework, and examples and the scratch pad if they were included, if they were synchronized in to your download copy, and the demo data as well. All of that will be copied to your new location. And then it will go through and change some internal path names so that they reference our new location. And once that's done, we'll have a new instance to use. All right, the process is finished. All of the files have been copied to our new location, and the internal path name housekeeping has been done. So we can click OK here. And let's close out now of our BBJ Home instance of add-on software. So we've closed out of add-on software. Let's pick up here. We're going to close the Burst Installation Manager as well, and then turn around and log in again still using the add-on software user shortcut. Just like we did before, we're going to change guest to admin and use admin123. Your settings should have been saved, so it should already now know that you want to launch in Barista Installation Manager mode, but double check, make sure. Now when the Barista Installation Manager comes up, we see two rows in this grid. So you can imagine you can stack them up as many as you'd like. Here's our quick copy instance. We're going to hit the green run arrow on this one. And again, when you launch from the Brist Installation Manager, you log in once to get to the Installation Manager, and then you log in again to the particular instance that you've selected. And I can see here which instance I'm logging into. I'll use admin admin123. And now we're going to log in to our new instance. Just like with the download version, the first time I launch here, I'll be expected to run the autosync. Now, because I left the developer scratch pad and examples behind, I didn't have them synced into my downloaded version, then they weren't copied up here either. So all that I have here to synchronize is add-on, and just like before, it'll be a very quick sync. It's really just cleaning up config file entries, making sure that they're all current and uh, contain our new parent location. Our synchronize is done, so we can click OK. Now there's one other thing that I want to show you. We have a generic MDI title up here. One of the nice things about the wizard is if I close out and relaunch, and I'm just closing out and relaunching because I've run the autosync process, uh, which changed some configuration settings. So closing out and coming back in, I pick up new settings, and one of which is that we've customized the MDI title. So just a handy visual confirmation that you will like as you get to working with multiple instances to know that you are in the right instance. So that's it. We're ready to go. We have a complete clone of add-on software outside of our download directory. So we can customize this one. We can create more if we'd like. 
Do remember that when you want to run the Quick Copy Wizard, you should run it from the download instance. So if I want to make another copy, I'm going to launch my download instance and run it from there. That's it. If you have any questions, you can email us at training at basis.com.